Now, this is the double fertilization inside the angioscope. Inside the angioscope. Why there is double uh, fertilization? First, we will look the gametogenesis. about the angiosperm that would be divided into two microsporogenesis and megasporogenesis micro sporogenesis and megasporogenesis I will give you separately about the structures in B This is the pollen grain and this is the anther, this is the stalk and this is the connector. Now focus only on the anther, if you will go through the anther, it's a tetrahedral by low. It's a tetrahedral Pilo means the chambers are four. Two is towards you, two is beyond you. Chambers are four, but lobes are only one and two. Lobes are only one and two. There is the microspore. Microspore mother cell mother cell which is always two and it will divide by the meiosis it will divide by the meiosis to release four pollen grains divide by the meiosis to release four who is not getting understand am i going to fast okay so this is the four pollen grains up to here I will stop. Again, I will compare this with the spermatogenesis. Okay. Pugenesis, uh, sorry, microsporogenesis and spermatogenesis, both are similar. So, I will continue with the spermatogenesis. Inside the testes of the animal including human, this is the spermatic cell, spermatocyte. It is called spermatocyte, always two endings number. These are called the spermatocyte. Now, they will divide into the N, it is <coughs> spermatogenesis. Spermatogenesis. These are four in number. These are four in number. Now, there would be the formation of spermatids spermatids after spermatocyte there would be the meiosis division there, there would be a formation of the four spermatids without tail now their maturation or development growth will take place not division ok they have finished their both meiosis first and meiosis second division only their maturation will take place this is called spermiogenesis spermiogenesis now there is the formation of four Forms. After spermatic, there is the formation of four forms. What happens, Ruby? You are not getting. Sama, getting. What you are not getting, Ruby? It's spermiogenesis. Development of the spermatic into sperm is called the spermiogenesis. Inside your book, you will get the uh, this all kinds of uh, phenomena. Just briefly, I am giving you. Now we will compare this two genesis with the mega sporogenesis inside the angiospermic rod. Getting? <coughs> now the mega sporogenesis. Inside the mega spore, mother cell. It is 
development of the embryo sac embryo sac from megaspore mother cell there would be meiosis to form four kinds of there would be formation of four kinds of four kinds of primary embryo embryo sac cell or vegetative cells vegetative cells because it's a two energy taking process because there have to again go division three will get degenerate three will get degenerate and one will get mature so again this primary vegetative cell or embryo sac cell will get division and finally it will give you the three antipodals two polar nuclei or you can say the central cell and two synergies one egg cell this is the egg cell or egg nucleus this is the polar nuclei polar nuclei and this is the anti podals these anti podals now this is the single typical structure of the embryo sac it is always diploid in nature it is also diploid in nature now the position of this embryo sac inside the ovary or inside the ovules this is the plant ovary inside the ovary